Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to A Link to the Past uh, and episode 16. We're going to hop into the dark world here in just a second uh, and do our re first real foray uh, into the dark world here in just a second. But first, uh, we need to have a small conversation about the comment section of these videos and what types of comments are allowed or not allowed, and uh, specifically a problem that we're having uh, and how you can help. Um, first and foremost, thank you to all of the lovely people who are keeping their comments free of spoilers, free of backseating, free of info about the game, even if it's info that you think I've already discovered or info that you think I should know to have a better playthrough. We're asking you to write none of that stuff in the comments, please. And many of you are doing a great job about that. Uh, the rest of you, <laughs> I, I've heard from our mods that uh, there are, like that this is maybe the, the series we've ever done, the series we've done with maybe the most ever uh, spoilery and backseating and also frankly some just rude comments you'll get that on the internet these things happened uh, but I wanted to let you know I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to let you know that you can help us uh, keep the comments free of that stuff first off don't write them if possible if you do write them I'll just let you know behind the scenes here's what happens a mod deletes your message uh, and when a mod deletes your message a couple of times uh, I get a notification that I can then go in uh, and make sure that none of your comments ever appear on any of our <laughs> videos again. Um, you get shadow banned. So please don't do that because I would like to read your comments um, and I don't want to shadow ban you, but I will to save my sanity and the blindness of this playthrough. The second thing I wanted to say is if you're in the comments and you're one of those good Samaritans, good people, you're you're writing comments that don't spoil stuff and you're, and you're supporting the series, I appreciate you so very much, but you see somebody else who wrote something that isn't okay or, or would break the rules, you know, and maybe spoil this game for me and ruin, you know, what we've got going on here. We have a, uh, a place that you can do something about that. If you hop into the Discord, which is uh, one of the first links down below, you can type in there uh, and at, you can, you can tag the role YouTube moderators or YouTube mods uh, and let them know, hey, there's a comment from this user. Feel free to delete it. The more eyes we have on this, the better. Um, our mods do an incredible job. Thank you. Hearts in the, chat, hearts in the comments to the mods uh, who do an incredible job. Uh, of keeping me s still blind. This is a blind playthrough and it only stays blind because of the mods. But um, if you see stuff and you would like to, uh, you know, notify the mods, that's how you do it. Um, okay, now that I've done the dad, I put on my dad hat and uh, chastised a couple people and let the rest of you know uh, how to help. Um, welcome back. We're playing A Link to the Past. Let's get back to it. So last we left off, we had defeated a Ghanim and made our way to the Dark World. Here we are! We have, you know, seven crystals to find, seven uh, maidens to find. Um, let's do it. Yeah, let's get to it. I can't wait to see what the enemies look like in this land. I love the background back here too. This little like plateau. Okay. Uh, so, what are you doing, you little... Oh, that's a bombable wall for sure. There's a little fruit or something. I don't know. Okay. We've got... This here. Can these be moved? No, but we do have a spear person down below. That looked like a... Uh, a thing from uh, Mario. Mm. Did I not line it up right? Or is that just not cracking? That's just not cracking. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So I know what we need to do. We need to run down on at least one of these. We need to like jump over off the ledge over here. Okay. Done. So what's this give us? Oh, just a piece of heart. That's a big victory. Uh, we can jump down here and fight this. Yeah, those look like uh, like Goombas or whatever. And then this is a uh, a mind flare. No, it's a. It's like a. I can't tell if that's a shell with purple hair, or if that is a. Uh, like a Venus flytrap looking thing. Okay, these look like Cyclops. It kind of looked like they had one eye when they were facing down south. Well, look at all these new... Oh my God. 
and they have bombs. Look at all these new enemies. Ah, I got hit. I thought that was your dead body. I wasn't paying attention. Come here. Okay. Sounds like they might be a good source of bombs. Okay. I can destroy the bombs with my sword, it looks like. Uh, we'll break some grass for some hearts, maybe? I don't know. Could work. Nope. Lots of coins, though. I need to hit X to really take a look at where I am. Uh, okay. Ooh, it does show us marker one is over to the right. Interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, hello? Kill you and hope for a heart? Ah! I, son of a bitch. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap, I took a lot of damage. Did those do one damage each? I was gonna say, uh, it might it might make sense to uh to break all this grass just for the chance to see if there's any secrets. This would be a lot of grass to break, but you know. It's not like I have any hobbies or anything. Um How will this grass not break? I feel like normally I can just swipe it. Okay, I have to be completely off of the grass square when I hit it. I understand now. That might be obvious to you, but... Uh, <laughs> these little floating skulls I'm not a huge fan of. But two out of two of them have dropped a heart, so maybe they're a guaranteed way to get hearts. I'm not sure. Ooh, fairy from the tree. No, 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 no. Come back. First off, I would rather patch you than not. Ah, come here. No! Did I get it? I don't think I got it. It kind of looks like I might have... I didn't get it. It kind of looks like I might have hit it with just the edge of my... Uh, my net right as the... Uh, as it faded. This is a good start to the... Dark World, just uh, <laughs> mowing all the grass. Okay, I can throw these, or at least I used to. I, I could in the above world. In the normal world, the non-dark world, the light world. Uh, do I want? Do I really want to mow all this grass? I don't know. At least the ones where you can like run in a straight line, it's relatively easy and quick. Can't wait. I'm going to mow all this grass and then... Uh, can I get a fairy from this? No. And then the next place I go will... Uh, I won't. And there will actually be a secret. This way to the Palace of Darkness. Okay, so we have Cyclops. We throw bombs, but if we get close to you, it's... Ah! It does not seem like a huge deal. Okay, we have a little heart here. Or a little... Okay, I didn't want to wake you up. Thought maybe I could throw you at the enemy. Okay. Oh my god. This is all interesting. I wonder if I can swim in the water right now. I don't really want to test it at this exact second because I don't know how to get back up here. It's like these things I do have to like interact with, then they start chasing me. They don't all drop hearts, by the way. The last one we did did not drop a heart. Two out of three, or three out of four of them have, though. Grass. Can I chuck it at you and break you? No. Pull you up out of the ground. There you go. That's what I was hoping for earlier. Exactly that. Uh, all right. We'll go into the palace. We'll go into the palace, but first... I just can't wait to see like the parallels between the two uh, the two lands. So this is the witch's hut normally. I also was wondering, I'm, and this is, and by wondering, I mean this is a rhetorical question. Please don't write the answer down in the comments below, even if I discover the answer over the course of this episode. <laughs> just a reminder. Um, I was wondering 
after the end of the last episode, I was like, when we get to the dark world, I wonder how often, or if at all, we can use the mirror to get out and then use our reflection to get back. Here's the other thing. We currently have an empty bottle. Double, double toil and trouble. You're making mushroom brew. Can I have the mushroom brew in my bottle? Okay, does not work. Okay, interesting. Well, that answers that. Dope. So now we need to really be thinking about both worlds and being like, ooh, can I get health from here? I certainly can. So I think in here, actually, uh, for money, I can buy uh, a potion, a brew. I don't know what you even call them. Uh, right here. Thank you. This is the medicine of life. Use it to regain your life power. I'm going to use it immediately and then buy another because I have so much money. Uh, and that ain't quite a fairy, but it ain't bad either. <laughs> and in fact, in some ways, it might be a little preferable. You can choose when to use it, uh, which is a little different than a fairy, at least as far as I know. I don't know. It's possible... It's possible you can actually use a fairy bottle when you're not, like, dead. Uh, but I think that actually just lets a fairy out. I don't remember, though. Okay. So, either way, um, we're now full. Please don't, please don't lose the full health to a... <laughs> to a bee. Uh, I think right now I have more interest in going directly to this palace than anything else. Can I not pull this guy out? What the hell? Okay, that's one. So, um, rather than keeping exploring, I think I would rather just go directly to the palace and sort of like see what we're up against here. What's a Dark World Palace look like? Let's find out. Uh, okay. Grab that real quick. So, it looks like entrance bottom left, thing is upper right, but we might be able to, uh, we'll see. I, I don't know what we're going to encounter, so. Sahasrala was there in the, uh, in the last world. I wonder if there's, oh, you still hit me. That sucks. I was spamming. That's fair. It doesn't take a lot of skill to spam. Um, maybe Sahasrala or like the equivalent of Sahasrala. I don't know yet how closely these two worlds are going to parallel each other. So it's like, will there be a NPC friend? Okay, you guys are weird. Is that a long spear? What is that? Okay. They look like dinosaurs holding long spears. Dope. I want to get straight into a, a palace, but yeah, let's just do this. Let's just go straight up here. So if I miss something, uh, I think there's a chance I'll come back for it. Okay. So we have a coin here. What is this? Like a dance floor? Am I pushing them? Am I pulling them? Am I doing nothing with them? Are we playing Tetris? What's the deal? Probably nothing. Okay, that's a wall. <laughs> I couldn't. I wasn't sure if that. I couldn't tell from the texture if I was supposed to jump down onto that or up onto that. Uh, some skull little things over here. Right about here would be where we would go for a. Oh, that's an arch. Okay would maybe be where we would go for, like, Sahasrala normally. Um, extra hearts. Cool, cool, cool. Let me if these move. There's a little entryway there. Can I get through here? I cannot. Okay. So this is a dead end. So. Up right here. Is this the entrance to the palace? 
Are you an enemy? Are you a friend? Hello? You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will obey only the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power. And look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Well, let me at him then. I got him? Until that time, I'm stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischievous thing to leave lying around. The power of gold. Triforce. Triforce. Cool. I wonder if my bomb will work here. Interestingly, the Triforce is a thing that I only know about from talking with fans of Zelda a little bit and not. Oh my God, the pots are skulls. Dope. I was really hoping one of these would be money. None of them are money. Um, because it doesn't really feature in Breath of the Wild, um, like at all. I think it's like some art that shows up a little bit, but maybe, but, um, so yeah, but then, but then after Breath of the Wild, we talked about it a little bit, like, uh, as we were talking about like the lore of Zelda, just vaguely. And, uh, you know, so I, I don't know what time, oh, look at these little... Like pterodactyl bird looking things. I know only the littlest about it. Um, that it is three, like, I think it's probably the three pendants that we got earlier, like courage, the other two. <laughs> courage, wisdom, is it kind of? Is, is, yeah, yeah. And, and, and just to clarify, this is not me asking for an explanation of the, uh, oh, look at this little arrow of the Triforce down in the comments. Uh, please don't. Um, Sorry that I'm just going to keep saying that stuff, but uh, if you can't tell. Uh... Ooh, okay. If it's annoying to you that I keep saying that thing because you're sitting there thinking, well, obviously I'm not going to spoil stuff or obviously I'm not going to explain that. It isn't always obvious to other people, apparently. So, you know, but I, that's why I have to keep saying it. I try, I try and say it as often as possible, especially, you know, I feel like it helps the moderators a little bit if I can say that a little bit more often and clarify. Um, so this maze is going to be really interesting. It's like hedge maze style. It is a hedge maze, basically. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it a hedge maze. Um, I won't be able to see the solution from above on that map. I can see my. I love the. I love the fact that I can see little individual pixels. Like there's a pink pixel there for hair, a red pixel for for shield. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a red pixel for shield. Green for little tunic thing. A different green for hat. That's cute. Okay. Oh, it's cool. It's very trippy. I like this. That goes to the other side of this. Why does it go to the other side of this? Does this push? go there um okay okay anyways we're gonna explore we're going to the left here hit you a couple times then we'll go up okay this takes us through i think it just went i think that one i was looking at down here was just basically like a dead end to kind of give you a uh Uh, like an alternative to look at. Uh, so from here, still just trying to go upper right. Uh, excuse me? I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Yeah, sure. Kiki, Kiki, good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Kiki, Kiki, okay. Kiki, Kiki. Will you go hurt somebody or what's up? Are they not attacking me because we're friends? Are you my friend? Oh shit, no, they attacked me. Okay, well. I, 
feel like that Cyclops was ignoring me, which is shit. Which is a little interesting. Uh okay, have we made it here? I mean we've made it. We didn't quite get everything. There's definitely still some stuff we missed there, but we can come back to it. Three hearts, man. I wonder if we're getting hit for two by some of these enemies. I I know I don't really pay that much attention to. Oh, we're stuck. I don't really pay that much attention to uh, my health constantly to see did that hit me for one or half or two. Um, okay. Well, I do not know what to do about that, but we will keep exploring. Yeah, I need some health here. I would love some health from one of you. There's one. There's more. Yeah, I can't hit you through that. Uh, so what do we do here? Back through the maze and then try to go... Uh, yeah, I'm Kiki the monkey, of course. Um, what? Sh sure. Do I have to pay 10 every time I go through there? You're ripping me off, friend. Oh, that hit me. God damn it. So that's definitely... I should do the math, but that's hitting me for two. All right. Like, I'll keep an eye on it and do an experiment here in a second, but that's definitely hitting me for two. All right, hit me real quick. That one is just one. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm just completely uh, missing it, but I feel like I got hit by t for two by one of those. And maybe I, and maybe not. All right, things are about to get difficult. I love it. I love the ramp up. Give me more difficult. Give me more difficult. I'm cool with it. All right, Um, we just want to run down and right, and we don't even need to go down that much. Over here, I got hit on the bounce back. Okay. Run down. I wonder why the door was locked. I can't tell if it was locked or if I just didn't have like something necessary. Let's just try going below. Ooh, let's go below real quick. Oh, hello. I would love for you to close my, uh, to, to rest my weariness. Please, please, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, great. We don't have... Oh, we, we do still have our life medicine bottle. Okay. Um, I forgot. Of course we will have it. Okay, now we've got a range attack. At least for another two seconds we do. Ah! Dope. You're dead. Let's try going down super quickly here. It looks like it's a small little area. Very small little area. Okay. Ah, you hit me already. God damn it. Sweet. So it looks like a Zora there. Um, and that's mostly it. Okay. Oh, man. This is so much to explore, and I'm so excited. Okay, we're going to try and go right immediately here. The other day, I noticed that uh, the hearts were like half hearts until they hit the ground. I think they still heal you. It, it appears that they still heal you for the same thing. Um, the same amount. It's just like the animation of them falling. Oh, fairy. I should have caught that. Um, but that would mean getting rid of my bee, and I'm not doing that. I forgot about the bat. Pterodactyl. 
That's right. You heard it here. I'm not getting rid of the B. The B and I are friends. Is that going to be a little bit crippling? Maybe. Will I maybe get frustrated and eventually get rid of the B? It's possible. But. Okay, let's just try going straight up from here. I thought I was running through you, but I must have hit the button at the wrong time. Dang, okay. I also wonder if I save and quit here, if I can reload from the uh, palace. Like, what are the reload places for the dark world? Hold up. Just here, okay. I, don't, I haven't unlocked any other places to reload. Apparently. All right. I don't remember the name of the commenter who's making a death counter, but I, uh, good luck, my friends. <laughs> We're about to hit a couple more deaths on the death, on the old death counter. That's for sure. Just a couple more. All right, I didn't try the full bottom right mode, but um, we'll do that now. Here's the bat. Oh, we should get we should get the fairy every time. We should go get the fairy every time. Um, it's pretty dang close. <laughs> get used to this. I do honestly really love it when a, uh, a game gets really challenging. And I love a challenge in general, so I'm stoked for the... Uh, I'm stoked for the chance for this game to get really tough. Okay, so the fairy, in my mind, was like... Uh, hold up. Just right of the entrance, so uh, down, like... Just right of this entrance, right here? Yes. Uh, so we will go in here, get full health really quickly, and get out of here before uh, I get copyright music on the <laughs> sound of that. On that uh, Scott Pilgrim song. All right. Um, so I want to keep going to the right. I want to go a little bit slower and make sure that I survive. Please die, please die. There we go. We have the bat. Next enemy here is the is the bat pterodactyl. The batadactyl. Ah, it's got two health. Like I have to hit it twice. Damn it, I forgot. Did it hit me for three health? We got to get better. We got to get a lot better. All right. These weird, like, Venus flytraps kind of looking things? I don't know. Okay. There's the arrow. Okay. One health away from full. And then these things, they almost look like buttons. And I wonder... Uh, I need to be thinking about my mirror more often, too. Because I wonder if I could use my mirror to actually move through these areas a little bit more efficiently. Um, you know? Like, I wonder if some of these I could, like, hypothetically mirror here. Uh, no, I cannot. Not only can I not do it because I was on a stairway that time, I also can't do it because I was... Because in this area, I have to... Uh, how do I phrase this? In order to get back to the dark world, I have to stand on like my, the sparkles. And the sparkles will only be exactly where I was. So earlier, when we were going from the normal world to the dark world, we could... Uh, like relocate and then use the mirror as a way to switch where we were. But now we can't do that. So I wonder why I can't get in this door.
I wonder if I just didn't do something right or what happened. There are hearts in here. We gotta think about where our resources are. We have the fairy we can get health from. We can get full hearts from this building. Don't die. I was gonna say, don't get hit by that guy because he'll hit you for like three damage. All right. So. Just thinking. Just sitting here thinking. I wonder why I cannot go through that. Um, the doorway. I wonder, <laughs> at this point, I think it's just as likely that I maybe missed, or like I didn't hit the red button or something, as it is that like I don't have what I need to go through there. The map truly just shows, like the map points us that direction. Okay, we're actually gonna go for the hearts here rather than the uh, rather than the uh, the fairy. Cool. Uh, and then we'll go from here. Let's try and get back to the door real quick. I've been there before, but ah, I thought I could run away from that, and I did not. Okay. Stop hitting me with your bombs. Hit you. Yeah, dope. Alright, so many bombs. Um now, and now I'm just getting attracted to the idea of coming this way one more time. This way really did not get us much, which is interesting. Why does this whole direction not give you much in terms of like is it just a dead end in, in the labyrinth this is the way we needed to go oh my god why can't i go through and to do that apparently you also wait shit is it that one or is it the other one yeah, yeah. then this way then kiki will be in here eventually we can go up no 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 sorry we can go left through where is Kiki? I'm, I'm trying to see if there is like, are, if there are pixels here before we walk out. Well, all of a sudden there's Kiki. Damn. I'm gonna give you nothing this time. Kiki, harumph, I have no reason to talk to you then. Bye bye, Kiki, Kiki. Goodbye. Thanks for the help. I mean, no thanks for the help. Okay. We're spamming, we're spamming. That works. Uh... Okay. So... We use the magic mirror? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. But maybe. Is it gonna kick us right back? Yes. It didn't kick us immediately. Oh no. It didn't kick us immediately back because we weren't on the stairs, but. What about like the ice rod? That makes a lot of sense, right? We bomb it? Everybody around here has bombs. I don't know. That might make a lot of sense, actually. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, we might need to go try something else just because I can't figure out what to do here. Which would be fun. This goes down. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. I'm thinking I'm looking at all these shapes on the ground and just like trying to figure out if there's something to do with those. 
Let's just bomb one and see what happens. They don't do anything. Okay. Okie dokie. Well. Uh, hmm. Let's just all like run up here. What are these? Oh, that's a bomb. I accidentally hit a bomb. Oh, that explains it. I was like, why is there a bomb there? All right, cool. Let's go somewhere else. I'm striking out. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, what if we were to save and quit and then continue from the mountain? Try and go a different direction. We could go down to like where my house is normally. We could go to like where Sanctuary was normally. It really looks like that's kind of the only way to start. There might have been a left path, but I didn't see it. No left path. Okay, let's go down and then like to our house. Man, I really wanted to just get into the dungeon, but I apparently don't know how. <laughs> okay, we ignore you. Uh-oh. I can't get through. Shit. Okay. I can't get through. Can I get in the water? I can get in the water. This is the area we were looking at earlier. I can like walk around to this area. There's also many enemies. Oh my Lanta, what is this? What is this? That looks like constellations. Are those pumpkins? Oh God, it's hell. Oh, it's, it's bad. Oh, it's dangerous. Can I get in? I do not think I can get in. Very little health. Okay. Let's get off, off screen here. Ah, that's one I could take, technically. We'll just take it and see what happens. Take me somewhere safer than where I was. I am currently above. Oh, we're just going random places at this point. But I'm having fun. Oh, that's a new, that's, that's bad. Run, 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 run. Don't run directly into him. Oh my God. Not a very good swimmer. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is there anything behind this? Nope. Oh, we are so dead. I'm stuck. That missed me. I cannot believe that missed me. All right. Well, I think we may want to take this... Uh, Technically, I think this would actually take us to a place we have not been. I have to kill you before I die? I died. <laughs> Welcome to the dark world. We are struggling. I'm not hating it. Um, I think it might just be a little bit of a change of pace we got to get used to. Um... And I'm trying to, I, I am kind of struggling to come up with a foothold here. What to do next or how to do it. Um, here's a question. Does this thing always kick out a fairy? It does. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Or at least it's done it two times in a row. Is there anything in this area that I feel like I missed? Uh, I mean, not really. I feel like I explored it pretty well. 
but I can't go south for some reason. And north really didn't give me, like, all it gave me was something we eventually... Give me a hit. We shouldn't have done that. Uh, all it gave me eventually was a... I can access the witch's hut from the other world. Um, but that's about it. Did we go in this house? Wait a second. What was in here? Oh my god, did we never go in here? Such a dangerous world, you may need many things. Select something that you like. What is this? You don't need that item. Why not select something else? Okay. Interesting. I mean, well, I could certainly use a little bit of health. And then buy more. But so fuck it, we'll do it. Medicine of life, sounds good. Uh, okay. So we don't need to go to the other world to do that. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think I, I can't believe I never stepped in there. I was so excited to get to the castle. And now I'm like, oh my god, I can't do it out of the palace. And now I'm like, oh my god, I can't do anything if I... <laughs> when I do get to the castle, so we need to do something else. Ah, I got hit. Cool. Uh, this way to the Lake of Ill Omen. It was called like the Wishing Waterfall last time. Oh no, this world is so dark. This dark world is so dark. <laughs> uh, what do we got up here? All right. Art, let's go. Some of these are bad? The dark... They're just normal rocks, except for the fact that some of them come to life and start attacking. I kind of want to throw this at you and kill you. Or at least hit you. I can't. From that angle. Okay. You're alive. I got hit, but that's okay. Is that a dead fish? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, do we try going around it? Dying again? Can't really do anything here. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Wait a second. Wait, how do I reload it? Can I throw the sign? Can I throw a bomb? Wait, I love that. Is it an actual curse? Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. This is the Quake Medallion. Its magic causes the ground to shake, defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. Absolutely, we'll try that. So the Ether Medallion and the Quake Medallion. Well, let's go fuck up some people at the castle. Or try, or at the palace, or at least try. That seems fun. I ain't gonna use it until we get closer, just because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be used for that much time. Ah, we need to kill you, kill you. See what's in this grass. The heart. Ah, you're a baddie. Uh, okay, so. We also go along. Oh, shh. Not good. <laughs> we know where this takes us. I thought this was the waterfall that you could get behind. In the other world. Um, 
Not that it would necessarily mean you could get behind it in this world, I'm just saying. How do I get out of here? Oh no, now there's another one. Oh no. Take me out. Take me out. Take me through! Ah! Where is the thing to get out here? Oh, it's right here. And this is where we died last time. Oh god. I was gonna use you as a weapon. I was gonna use that rock as a weapon. Uh, okay. So, now we're back to the palace, at least. I didn't mean to do that. We could explore around there real quick, but instead I think I would rather just uh, run and get back to where I'm trying to go. All right. Need as many hearts as I can get. Five and a half is not a lot. I always need as many hearts as we can get. <laughs> I'm happy I already found a heart container, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no. Uh, let's go to the ferry. And... I mean, it seems wild, but, like... I can't access a ton of the world here, it looks like. It looks like I cannot ac access a ton of the world in this in the dark world just yet. Like, I don't have the ability to move down south through that other intersection, etc. So, I think maybe we go to the thing we've done five times already, and then we try quick and see what happens. I don't know. Seems fine. Uh, okay, we can go through here. Go up. Probably should have gotten hearts from the the old man's house, even though it's no longer a uh, an old man's house. Or I guess it could be an old man, but it's <laughs> a green being of some sort lives in there. Okay, so from here, to go left. Kiki is not following us. Kiki is not following us. Right there. Right here, Kiki starts following us. Uh, yeah, take 10 rupees and follow me. And then hopefully, uh, you, like, take my first piece of damage. If I were to take damage, you would instead take damage. That's my only real hope. Oh, God. I also took damage. But I don't know if that's because it was two separate attacks. Let's try it. That didn't do it. I'm stumped. I just now noticed for the first time that there is maybe like over the first, <laughs> there's like two protrusions maybe above the pillars and a little bit to the right and left. And one of them looks like it's sticking out and one of them looks like it's sticking in. I have no idea if that has to do with anything, and like maybe these are like in somehow some way buttons or something that you can push to make those change or something to open this door. I have no idea, but I'm stumped, and we'll come back tomorrow for another episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first little, our first major foray into the uh, dark world. Uh, thanks for your thanks for your help trying to keep the uh, comments. Uh, I would really like to be able to interact with comments during a series that I'm I'm recording because I don't do this for, you know, part, part of the reason I like playing video games is sharing and making connections and like, like making real human connections with people about what we love or what delights us or what is beautiful in video games. That's what I like about it. Um, and to be able to interact with the comments on a series that we're also doing blind, that requires, you know, some help from you guys. Uh, so thanks for thanks for helping and uh, and thanks for keeping this uh, keeping the comments a place that I can hang out. And once again, shout out to the mods. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.